Hey YouTube, welcome to the first episode of our God series where I show you how to get certain items in this game. Today's showcase is going to be on Barry Mentats and the Mentats. We're going to go with both of them because you need one to make the other. The main focus is going to be on the Barry Mentats, but I'm going to show you how to get the Mentats too because you need Mentats to make Barry Mentats. So without further ado, let's get going okay so the first item we need to go get is the car flowers my uh, me personally i think the uh, best place to go and get these uh car flowers is up at the palace of the wine pat because there is a beautiful location at the side of like at the side slash middle of this temple where you can just get a bunch uh, a bunch of these car flowers which is pretty great for what we are doing here Another little tip that I'm going to give you also is if you go into your perks, you can put on a perk called the um, Green Tom. Green Tom reaps twice as much when Harvest and Flora, which is very good for what we're doing here because the more Flora we get, the less grinding you need to do for this. I would also recommend putting on Chemist. Chemist also gives you double the quantity from your crafted chems this is also very good for making a lot of um chems which is what we're going to be doing uh mentats and the berry mentats are um our chems so you know putting that on is also going to help so when you spawn you you'll spawn like literally right over there you're going to run along the side of this um of this like um temple and you are going to come up to this area right here you'll see like um wh what would you call this like a, a two little fountains and some of this um some of the bushes you'll jump up here and you will see this plant right here these are the wild carrot flowers that we need as you can see picking it up, i picking it up i picked up two because carrot flowers give you two with that uh, green tom um that green tom perk so you'll just go around you'll grab the ones there and if you come across the way you'll see more just planted right here so you'll pick these up too you'll jump up here and you'll pick up these as well so as you can see from this right here we're already getting a bunch now i don't uh, you definitely don't need too much but um i would say pick up as much as you can if you come down to the front of this where the stairs are you will see more right here so, you know, it's it's just a very good um a very good place to get these um wild cards. I uh, like you can get these randomly around the world, but I would highly recommend just coming to uh this location right here because it uh you can you can get a lot of these car uh, get car flowers straight away. So after that, I would say that we need to go get the firecracker berries, the starlight berries, and the fire caps. Now the the Arc uh, Arctus Pharma is a brilliant place for this right here once you spawn in you're going to run all the way towards like you're going to be running towards the wayward but you're not going to go down to the wayward you're just going to be running towards it because this is usually where i start um start farming now obviously if you see any of the firecracker berries you should pick them up on the way because i will miss them if um if i just run past them but this is where we're going to start right here on this rock is the starting location it is right here on the map near all them uh, lovely trees so we're going to start right here okay so the first thing you're going to see is if you come right here you'll see this bush right here this is the starlight berries bush but as you can see there is no starlight berries on it but this one right here there is you're looking for the little orange it's on these bushes this will indicate that there is starlight uh, berries on the bush so you you know if you go over you harvest them you'll see that i got two because green tom is giving me more like double of what i'd get so you know you'd uh, you pick that up and you'd uh, just run towards the 64 the 64 is what we're gonna be going towards so we're like we're right here near the trees we're gonna just be running north to the 64 obviously just keep your eyes opened for any of the resources we're looking for fire caps firecracker berries and starlight uh berries it's it's all up to you to be able to um to see them um i'm not gonna be going around to every bush that i see to pick them up but i'm going to be like picking up whatever i can see 
uh, you know you can obviously get more if you just like look around yourself in this location but um i'm just going to be picking up the ones that i see as we're going because i don't want don't, i don't want to make this video too long i want it to be very straightforward for everybody um so th this is just the route that i usually take it's a it's a very like you know nice route uh routes because uh you know firecracker berries are you know very easy in this location i'm like i don't really see them out like you know in any other location like this is literally like the route that i just take for these um these berries starlight creeper berries and the fire caps can be found all along the fire uh, uh all along the forest like um area uh so just keep your eyes peeled if you see the resources i would highly recommend picking them up and if if you know that you're not going to make the mentats or the berry mentats when you pick them up just transfer them to a different character and um the condition on that character shouldn't like you know go away it shouldn't degrade and you know you'll be able to um you'll be able to use them when you want to mass produce them these are the fire caps the one that i just picked up is a fire cap you will usually see them on logs but you will randomly see them on the ground as well so right now i'm right here at the uh, railroad next to the 64 this is usually where yeah where you'd get like a starlight berry a fire cap not always like spawn here but um you know it's it's not a bad uh place to look then i usually come up ag along the left you can see there's a fire cap um right there so you'd uh, pick that up a starlight berry bush but you know there's no starlight berries on it which sucks and you would just come along over here you'll find another starlight berry bush so you'd pick that up and then we are coming up to the 64 on the map as you can see right here we're just that uh, this location right here will give you a few fire caps it will give you um a few starlight berries as well but at the moment no starlight berries and i don't see any fire caps which does suck but um you know it's 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 okay it's okay so we don't really see it i usually come to the left like i start going uh like along this way because you will find a few of the resources just scattered like i just found starlight berries there i'd come along it this way and um i usually see a starlight berry bush and a fire cap plant right next to each other there's the starlight berry bush there's usually a fire cap next to it as you can see it's not there right now but um you know that's just the rng in this game if i come a little further in i don't know if i'll find any others but um you know it, it, that wasn't too bad of a little run there so we're just gonna fast travel because there is a place i fast travel to usually after this where it's the overseer's home and the reason i fast travel here is that if you just follow the railroad north you will find a little house that has fire caps starlight berries it's just more for what we're doing right now um at the moment you would see that i did not collect a lot of um firecracker berries it's just because i am trying to like you know just make the make the video very short but if you literally look, just look around that whole location I just showed you, uh, when you're going, uh, when you're going towards that 64 on the map, you will find a bunch of the berries. Like, trust me, the place is surrounded with berries. I'd be surprised if you don't come out with, with about 50 without even like, you know, trying to look for them. But when, once you start spawn at the overseer's home, if you just come along the railroad north, you will um you will see a few starlight berries fire caps along the way i'm uh, just looking out for them now there's a fire cap right there and a starlight berry right next to it so that is very very good there's the house that i was just speaking about so you'd come along at this uh to this location right here and if you come over towards the like entrance of the place you will find a fire cap right here then you'd hop up and you'll find a starlight creeper bush right here right next to the house you'll also find another fire cap so the more fire caps we get the better 
then I'd come around along here around the back of the shed and I'll find another starlight creeper berry and another fire cap so like you know this is a nice little location to get in starlight uh, creeper berries and uh, fire caps but I'd continue going north so once you go past that location you'd continue going uh, north until you come to the location right here you will see that there's a fire cap right here you will see that there's starlight creeper berries right there and if you just keep going towards this location right here you're coming up to um slow comes joe's and um you will find more fire caps this place actually has a very decent amount of fire caps you'll find one there you'd usually find one in the tire there maybe one or uh, one right there i can't remember exactly but if you come over to the bus right in the front of the area you will see a log right here usually two fire caps do spawn here maybe one depending on the server you're on but um usually it is two for me uh then i'd come along at this location right here and i'd find more starlight creeper berries and fire caps now once again this is all about uh, just looking around you'll see that i found one right here um i'm just gonna look a little more to show you there's starlight creepers right here um i i do know that if you go towards the overseer's camp you will find another starlight creeper berry bush and there it is right there and a fire cap right there so like you know it's it, it's basically all about you just looking you will definitely run by uh, some of the spawns without even noticing and it uh, like you know it does suck when that happens but like you know you, you're gonna learn where this spot uh, where this where the spawn and you're gonna be able to get like you know the resources to mass produce these um these mentats now for more starlight creeper berries if you come down uh south of the map near white springs you will find a location called the deep the deep is a very very good location for starlight creeper berries there's there's crickets in here crickets do a lot of damage so i'd um i'd watch out for that but um let's just kill the crickets i would highly recommend picking up the waste acid on the crickets as well because waste acid is just good to um to get so once you kill the crickets you will come to this location right here pick up the ram fungus because why the hell not you will find this character like uh, this npc right here dead he's always dead don't worry and you will see a lot of water now the thing about this is that you actually have to go into the water once again I just have uh, very mental there. Use the right away so you don't die to radiation. And you just need to follow the route in this uh this location. You need to go underwater. It only takes a few seconds, don't worry about it at all. Um once you get in here, you will literally just follow the like the follow the main path in the water, and you will find this location right here. You know you're here when you see the pink glow. You will go towards the pink glow. There is um a cricket to the left so i would highly recommend getting rid of that as soon as possible and you are now in this location it's all safe for now and starlight creeper berries are everywhere i mean like this is just a very good place to pick up the starlight uh, the starlight berries um you know there, there's just a lot there's just a lot and it's like the best way to um to get the starlight berries so you'd continue along the path get more brand fungus once again i would highly re recommend getting it because you will need a good amount for the mentats and berry mentats so remember guys just pick them up uh you continue on now guys there is more crickets in here so just be careful uh we're getting very lucky but uh there is crickets in here so just be very careful with that you do not want to um you don't want to die to the cricket. You've seen what happened earlier to me. It's uh, it's not good. But get the brand fungus. Get more of the brand fungus. More crickets. Once again, just kill them. Because if you die here, you will have to go back to the start of this place. And, you know, you don't want to get lost. At the pink glow, with the stairs leading into this big open room. Now, once again, we're just going to go through this. 
and I'll show you where the uh, starlight berries are. These robots right here do a decent amount of damage, so I would highly recommend getting rid of them as soon as possible. Once you once you kill them, uh, you're going to be coming down towards the um, the big room right here. Where there is going to be more enemies, so it like, you know, as I said, take out the enemies, try and get rid of them. But you will see Starlight Berries on the outside of this location, so I would like go around and just look for them. Some of the bushes are going to have the berries on them, some of the bushes are not, so it's literally, you know, it's RNG. Um, I think there, there's what, like a 35% chance on the berries actually having like been harvestable. And if the if the bush doesn't have any berries on it, that's that's okay. The next time you do it, more than likely will. But once you gather all those berries from the um from the bushes, that is this area done. So once you're done in the deep, you're now we're gonna go and get brand fungus. Now my favorite place to get brand fungus is going to be this road right here now you can go to the mire the mire is perfect for brand fungus but for me this is my uh my location it's just a very easy way to get brand fungus there's a few enemies not too hard and it's all in one row so once you spawn in you're just gonna go towards the road so you're gonna see some cars um and you are going to look for the hole in the ground right next to the cars this is going to be the starting point for the rain fungus so obviously turn on your pit by because you'll need the light and if you just keep going south uh, southwest down this road um you're you're going to find the brand fungus so like you know just look around you'll find the brand fungus down at these little like corridors and um as i said it's just a very good brand fungus um farm it's the one that I use personally. I do go to the mire if I need the extra bit. But um, this is the location that I use. When you have all of the items for the recipes, you're going to go back to your camp and you're going to go over to the chemistry station and you're going to craft the chems. I already crafted mentats, but and I ended up getting 62 out of all the research that we got. So 62. That's with the chemist and super duper perks activated, which you can find super duper in luck i would highly recommend using that because you have a 30 percent chance at level three to get double the results so 30 percent chance is very good once again putting chemist on because uh, you get double the quantity when you craft chems is also pretty good so ended up getting 62 mentats which is pretty amazing you're now going to be able to make the berry mentats which we can make for a uh, 46 so now we're going to end up with 90 two with super duper activated we ended up with 116 which is pretty amazing 116 for what 15 to 20 minutes grinding i'd call that a win so guys i hope you enjoyed this video on the little uh, on a little tutorial on how to get berry mentats and mentats um if you liked what you see don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below your thoughts and what you would like to see next on our GOT series. For now, I'm going to say goodbye and have a good one. See ya!